Welcome to Nero Network. The only problem is, with these types of bosses, I find trying to get uh, attack patterns down to be a lot harder than with uh, slower style bosses. It's just kind of how I've always been. Yeah. You need to learn to stay away from that attack. Like so. You bitch, you just get these attacks out at just the right point. Okay, I will say one thing though, once you get past a really tough boss, you do feel some real sense of satisfaction, and I don't think that was worth it. Okay, I have no idea what kind of sh- Fuck you. Yes, I just got rid of the shield. I have no idea what its special properties were, but I got rid of that fucker, and yes. <laughs> you could have given me, like, two of them. I know this is not going to be particularly fun, I'm sure. <laughs> ah. I think it's saying, go over here, dummy. Okay, I want to know what this is. Oof. Not immediately lose it by jumping into one of those fuckers, though. So. Yeah. those enemies. Okay, yes, those are literal attacks. Mwah. I hate those meteor enemies. This is just danger to a T. Okay, we're back to like literal level structure. That's good. And health. That's better. Why did I jump? I do have to say, I feel incredible tensity, fuck you. I mean, I am tense. I have no idea what's going to come up in terms of a battle, and I... Like, I do want, I want challenge, but I don't want to end up having to be stuck for like 20 minutes kind of challenge, you know? I 
Okay. That's a that's a design. Oh shit! It's this asshole again. Come on, energy. And I still fall for that same fucking attack. No! Ah! You have like no reaction time if you jump like that. I'm so used to jumping. But when it comes against that fucker, it's a very, very bad idea. That one fucking attack. That one! He always seems to initiate it right when you're... Right... Ugh. I swear, I don't even know how I actually beat this guy the last time. Jesus! God damn it, get away from me real quick. Oh, you dick. What? Ugh. We should get the annoying bitch, and then you just get the snake from. Ugh. Dante snake. Oh, I have to actually go to the point of the wall. And then I end up losing that shield so fucking easily. Oh, I hate you. Your fucking Dante Inferno shit. Oh, I thought you were going to do that again. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? I call hacks on that one. No, that enemy AI is a little too smart on fucking normal mode. If he was actually able to realize that I was going to be at that exact point. Usage of that fucking maneuver. What? It really makes this guy a pain in the dick is just the simple fact that all of his attacks have such large reach. Everything is going to find a way to hit you. And for such, I can expect that for really big bosses, but for fucking small fry like him, I'm sorry, I don't care that he's one of those lead characters, that's too much! There's bosses that are well designed, and then there's just frustrating, I'm sorry, but this, to me, some of these, bo these bosses aren't really coming off as well designed, they're coming off as a frustrating experience. There's that sense of satisfaction in destroying one, finally. 
But my god! God damn it! You get caught up in that! You might as well kiss your ass goodbye! You shouldn't have an attack that fucking powerful! That's more! <laughs> This is really fucking evil. Bitch mode over. Let's get started with this shit. This is what frustration can do for me. I fucking cracked there, I needed to shut up, and I just barely threw that boss. I'm mean, actually very, very surprised with myself. And now I feel like a little bitch because of how I was acting earlier. But either way, yay! <laughs> God damn. But yes, there is a real sense of elation when you're finally able to defeat a boss. It's frustrating, but my god. I feel better. What do we do, Mila? Lilac? I don't know! Damn. I don't know. Maybe we're not cut out for this. We should go home. So that's it? We just leave and let Torque die? Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. What are we supposed to do? I like Dork, but this is so much bigger than us. We're just kids. That doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything? Look at what they did to me! To us! Sometimes I feel like you're trying to get us killed. How can you say that? 
I put myself out there on the front line so you don't have to. Yeah, and I always have to bail you out. Well, that was like the one time you defeated a boss for me. But I'm, I'm personally thankful. What's the problem with that? We're helping each other do the right thing. And look at Mila. But I don't want to do the right thing. I just want to spend time with my best friend. Uh-oh. If the only way I can do that is by risking my life, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Damn, this just like really came out of left field. Carol! Don't! Just don't. I'm done. It's okay. She was always just being a, you know, a snarky little bitch, and I like that. You no, know? but I, I do have to ask, where did this really come from? I'm going after him. Alone. Maybe it was something in, like, cutscenes I skipped past because I haven't actually, uh, rewatched them earlier because I haven't gotten to that part of the LP yet, but... I don't know, that just really does seem like it came out of nowhere. Let me come with you! No. Carol's right. Friends shouldn't let each other get hurt. You should stay behind with her. <coughs> Mila, stay here. Excuse me. I won't leave you! Stay! Damn. Talk about a way to leave a puppy behind. It's the equivalent of driving off. <laughs>